Man, I'm not going to be preaching the sermon that I had planned on preaching this morning. I'm going to be preaching something different. And unfortunately, I've got to start out with some very bad news. And that is that, you know, there are still people in our church who are getting sucked into this oneness garbage and forsaking the Trinity. Now, I find that hard to believe since I've gotten up here and preached it to the point of ridiculousness. I proved it. Hey, you're not supposed to say that it was ridiculous that I talked about it that much. But anyway, you know, I mean, I went up one side and down the other, and I talked about it, and I talked about it, and I proved it with hundreds of scriptures. And then I even put other videos online, the Trinity moments, where I'm just one point at a time. Each one of those 48 Trinity moments disproves this modalist oneness garbage. Any one of them alone does. And there's 48 of them. You know, so I mean, I'm, I'm up here, I'm preaching the Bible, I'm spending hours and hours and hours of time behind the pulpit covering this, I'm putting even more videos online, you know, I don't know what else to do as a pastor, I don't know what else to say except for this, this doctrine is not an optional doctrine, the Trinity is a foundation of our Christian belief, it has been for thousands of years, and we will not budge, we will not compromise, and I'm not going to be a respecter of persons. I don't care who it is. I don't care who believes in this garbage. They're going to be called out, and they're going to be thrown out of the congregation. It's that simple. And you know what? If you've been here for years and years, if you're one that's been at our church for years, and you're like, well, I'm just still not sure, then you know what? Just get out and come back when you're sure then. Because you know what? That is not acceptable to come to this church for years and years and hear me preach about it for hours and hours and hours and hours and you're still not sure if the Trinity's true. You got a problem, buddy. And you know what? You take your problem somewhere else. Now, if you're brand new, if you're a new believer, if you're a babe in Christ, if you've never even read the Bible cover to cover, you know, and you're not really sure what the Trinity teaches or you're a little mixed up on the Trinity, then you know what? Hang around, learn the doctrine. But I'm talking to people that ought to know better, people that have been here for years, people that have read their Bibles cover to cover, and they don't believe in the Trinity. There's something wrong, friend. Now, look, it shouldn't matter who I'm going to bring up. Because God's not a respecter of persons, and I'm not a respecter of persons. And it shouldn't matter who it is. The truth is the truth. You know, and basically there's been two people that have been affected. First of all, Dominique Davis, that's why he wasn't here last Sunday, has been thrown out because he says, oh, God's not three persons, God's only one person. What? Hey, sit down, sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Huh? What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer read. Get out of here. Can I get, can I get a little grace? No, no, no you can't. No, no. you, you get out of here. Get him out of here. Understand? Drag this bozo out. Pull him out. Hey, him help walk. him out. Let get him, him out. Let him walk. Let him walk. walk in the zone and we'll get him out of here real quick. And you know what? Anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. This is not some church where every first-time visitor and brand-new believer and people who have never even read the Bible are going to come up and take over the service. Not happening. Okay? If you want that kind of watered-down leadership... Go to some house church with your Amish buddies and sit around the coffee table with your coffee clatch. This is a New Testament church. We have a bishop here. We have an overseer here. Like it or lump it. And if you don't like it, feel free to get up and leave the service at any time. And if you're one of these oneness people, why don't you have the guts? Why don't you have the courage to get up and leave right now? Huh? Have the gall and the courage to come and face us and tell us. Instead of being like Dominique who texts us. After he sat, you all heard him sit in the front row of this church yelling amen every time I preached about the Trinity. Go back on YouTube. Watch all the YouTube videos. And what's he doing? He's sitting in the front row yelling amen. And now he's telling people, oh, I never really fully agreed on the Trinity. Then why'd you yell amen every time I talked about it and every time I preached against oneness? I'll tell you why. Because he's a hypocrite. That's why. People are hypocrites who like to sit in the front row and say amen loudly, even though they don't even believe in it. 
That's called being a hypocrite. And then it's like they're yelling amen one day, and then two days later it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, i got to leave the church because I don't believe in the Trinity. You say, I'm not comfortable with this. Then just take a hike. Go take a hike. You know what? You ought to be thankful that you have a pastor who stands on Bible doctrine and doesn't care what people say. And I don't care if 90% of people get up and walk out or 50% of people walk out. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm not going to pastor a oneness cult. Amen. I'm not going to pastor a Pentecostal church. I'm the pastor of a Baptist church. Amen. And if you're not a Baptist, then get out. Amen. We're not going to let a bunch of heretics Come in and split this church and bring in all this junk. This church is going to be unified around Bible doctrine. Amen. It's not happening. And you say, well, it's just a okay, sweetness and light. Can't we all get along? You know, we could all get along if people would actually believe the Bible. Amen. But they don't, so sometimes we have to crack some heads. If you're not comfortable with it, go down to Comfortable Baptist. <laughs> where anything goes, where people can believe whatever. Now, look, there are lots of doctrines that are optional. You know, things that aren't as clear in Scripture, things that don't affect salvation, things that don't affect the nature of God. If people have different views on end times prophecy, if people have different views on, you know, the Jews or Israel or something, that's fine. You know, you say, oh, I don't quite agree on the reprobate doctrine. Fine. But you know what? The Trinity is not optional. And I, you're going to be shocked when I tell you who's getting mixed up in this now. And I don't know how deep he is into it, but now Garrett Kirschway says that the Trinity is a false doctrine. I mean, he's been up here behind this pulpit preaching the Trinity, preaching against Jesus-only baptism, preaching some, of all people. He's been here with us all along through all this teaching, through all this preaching. I can't even believe it. And you know how I found out? Did I find out because he came and told me, because he had the guts to come and tell me, hey, by the way, I'm on your staff and I don't believe in the doctrine of the church. I don't believe in the Trinity. No, I found out because I saw his wife commenting on Tyler Baker's videos like, oh, great sermon, brother. And I confronted him about it. Bunch of cowards. Makes me sick. Makes me sick. And you know what? If any of you cowards are out there right now, just come clean right now. Just get up and walk out because if you don't believe in the Trinity, you are not welcome in this church. Okay, what are we going to bring in next? The Muslims? What are we going to bring in? Hindus and Buddhists and Jews and whatever? Look, it's a Baptist church. It's not seeker sensitive. It's not anything goes. It's the Trinity. It's the Baptist church. It's not optional. And so as of this morning, he's fired. You know how long it took me to fire him? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And you know what? You know how long it's going to take me to throw somebody out of this church that doesn't believe in the Trinity? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Now you open your Bibles to Genesis chapter one. And if by the time I'm done preaching this morning, you don't believe in the Trinity, then get out and don't ever come back. Amen. I'm not going to let this cancer creep in. I'm not going to let this poison in. We are performing surgery this morning. And you know what? I don't, it, there's going to be no anesthesia. We're using a, we're using a, a, a hacksaw. Okay. So take a swig of Jack Daniels or whatever, because there's going to be no anesthesia. We are cutting this cancer out. And I don't care if we have to amputate the whole toe or the foot or the leg. We're going to save the body. We're keeping this thing alive. You don't have to get very far reading the Bible to find the doctrine of the Trinity. Now, let me just make this clear for us. And if you think this is a repeat or if this is redundant, then explain to me why people are still mixed up. Apparently, it needs to be preached more. Apparently, we need more teaching on this. And I'm not going to stop until it's fixed. And I would rather die than to pastor some half Trinity church. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. I, I'll go get a job somewhere else before I ever do that. Never going to happen. Now, let me just make this clear. The Trinity is a New Testament doctrine. And everybody pay attention. If I catch anybody not paying attention, I'll call you out. You pay attention. You look up here and listen and look. You look in the verses with us as we're reading. Okay, this is important sermon. Don't think, oh, I already know this. You listen anyway. You say, well, you sound mad. You better know I'm mad. Yeah, I am mad when my employees stab me in the back. You know, when people who, who you trust, 
you know, people that, somebody that I baptized with these very hands and then turns around and goes off into heresy and doesn't even have the guts to come tell me about it. You better know I'm mad. It's a righteous anger at heresy and lies and false doctrine. Amen. And by the way, this, this is streaming live. I don't believe in hiding the truth. Put it out in the open. Let it be known far and wide that our church believes in the Trinity.